watching Barat's iPod help and today I got a quick tutorial for you on how to save your SHSH blobs for your iDevice and if you do not know what SHSH blobs are they are the little files that iTunes needs so it can talk to Apple to know if you're authorized to downgrade or download a specific firmware of your choice or what you're trying to access so for example uh, if I am on, since I am on 4.2.1, I for some reason want to downgrade to 4.1, I would have had to have saved my SHSH blobs on 4.1. I will show you how to do this, but first of all, if you do not save your SHSH blobs now, and if you are upgrade to 4.3, which is to be released very soon, you will not be able to downgrade to 4.2.1. So if you do save your SHSH blobs, you are good to go. So this is very important for that reason if you are needing to downgrade to 4.2.1. It is very important. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to open up your web browser and then you're going to want to go and to this website, the firmwareumbrella.blogspot.com. The link will be in the description below and you'll see on the side here that the three download links for you it works for Mac OS X, Windows and Linux so you have the three choices right here choose whatever operating system you're on and then download it and install it once you've installed it you'll get a little um, icon here on your desktop so you can just double click that to open it up and once it's loaded up there you go uh, you're gonna need to plug in your iDevice so you do need a jailbreak for this to work because it accesses Cydia. You're going to have to have opened up Cydia at least once, which you obviously would have already done if you were jailbroken. And so once you plugged in your device, go over here. Here's Brett's iPod, so I'll click, uh, click that. And you're going to want to go over here to save SHSH and there's some advanced settings in here which I don't really recommend you choose make sure that this checkbox has been checked request SHSH from Cydia make sure because that's where you're going to be getting your SHSH blobs because it does access Cydia servers to save them and this does save it on Cydia servers and on your local computer so once you've got all this done you can just click save SHSH and then it should start up right here on the bottom this device is connected and a little spinny wheelie thingy is going around here and there you go I just saved it even though I've already had that done before but it may may take a little longer for you if you have not done this so now that you've got this saved you are able to sit back and take a deep breath and if you wanted to know how to downgrade your firmware, I'll show you here right now. So, now that you've downgraded, or um, rather, you've saved your SHSH blobs, uh, you're going to want to start TSS server. But, first of all, you would have had to have downloaded your firmware that you have wanted to downgrade to. Okay, so now that you've saved your SHSH blobs, and you have done this so in the past on, on previous firmwares you wanted to downgrade to a previous, that previous firmware um, what you're going to want to do is click start TSS server and then you would have had to have downloaded your uh, previous firmware and you can just go to felixbruns.de link will be in the description below you can just go to the drop down menu on the bottom and download your firmware from there and once you've done that you can just do shift and restore if you're on a uh, PC and I believe it is control and restore on a Mac do not take my word for it I have no idea but it's something like that I will have an annotation somewhere once I figure it out later and then you'll just find your firmware that you've downloaded and then you can just go ahead and restore but you will have had to have started the TSS server right here and then you are pretty much good to go for downgrading so I hope you've liked this quick little video for you and this is very urgent if you have not saved your SHSH blobs on your current firmware 
So definitely, definitely do this. I cannot stress it enough. So I hope you've liked this. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, along with follow me on Twitter at Brett's iPod Help, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.